Conversations about private 5G networks are starting to take place in the business world. These configurations offer a high bandwidth, low latency, and massive connections that are highly customizable if you have the necessary hardware and software on site. Here to discuss is Howard Wu, Global Head of Networks and General Manager at QCT USA. Howard, I'm starting to wonder what's behind the private 5G momentum here in the U.S.? Uh, Clarence, that's a great question. And I would put it into two phases, right? So um, the last decade, we've certainly seen the building up of cloud and how enterprises are using both cloud and data. And what we're seeing right now is the next evolution. Now, in the past, a lot of you know private networks have been using 4G or LTE or even 3G and although that LTE is now evolutionizing into the 5G gradually for all these enterprise use cases and customers, more and more enterprises are also now noticing the importance to view private 5G as the foundation for their digital and digitization transformation. Now, what that means is, you know, they're usually now viewing data as more of a key asset. And we certainly see enterprises now acquiring additional bands like CBRS that helps them transition into private 5G. So large enterprises and use cases, such as in agriculture, manufacturing, utility companies, they've already put private 5G strategy into their company uh, foresight going forward. And they really expect to have more deployments starting in 2023. So is there a key factor that is stimulating or accelerating private 5G adoption? Absolutely. What we're seeing in the marketplace is the factor that is really accelerating this private 5G adoption comes down to enterprises, you know, building their own private cloud or, or using the public cloud the last decade, combining with a renewed importance and their view on data. Now, once you view data as a strategic asset and you're starting to build artificial intelligence and machine learning type workloads on top, then having a private 5G network to manage not only the devices on top of that network, such as robots or drones, but it comes down to the data flow. That becomes a key factor in putting all of this together. So the production from digitalization, uh, you know, in terms of helping with worker safety, for example, increasing manufacturing efficiency, and the fact of being able to ready for dynamic market requirements. The business today that everybody runs requires real-time decision-making. And real-time decision-making, unfortunately, can only come from real-time data. So I think that's one of the key factors people want to build a low-latency private 5G network that they can manage not only the devices, but the data flow. And when it comes down to safety or security reasons, we definitely see a lot of firms placing uh, emphasis on, for example, worker safety, but even more importantly, on data security, right? So how does the data not leave your infrastructure or how do you audit all of that data on top? So applications such as, you know, worker safety in terms of the human and robot engagement, in terms of community patrol, in terms of, you know, 24 hour monitoring of potential gas leakage, for chemical plants or other type of large industrial type work environment and campus safety. These are all types of use cases we actually see uh, that's deploying in the marketplace in real time today. Those are all good reasons. And so what's driving QCT into the private 5G market and what do you offer to that customer? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Just to give everybody a little bit of background on QCT, over the last decade, we were a key contributor and growth engine inside the cloud industry. We've helped uh, develop open architecture. We've worked with the ecosystem to enable some of you know, the world's largest cloud service providers. And we're really taking that experience and what we've learned in building large scale, distributed global infrastructure and we're now taking that know-how and that engineering excellence into the private 5G market. And that is why we wanted to get into this market segment. Now, in terms of the product side, 
we are a infrastructure solution provider. So our private 5G includes everything from the 5G core networks all the way to the radio technology inside that infrastructure. From server, radio unit, to 5G core, RAN, and management tool, QCT wants to provide a easy to manage and monitor for system integrations, companies, and also customers for a reliable infrastructure so that they can focus on driving their own business results and don't leave you know, months or even years for deployment. A QCT end-to-end -end solution with our hardware infrastructure and our software management tool can be set up in a matter of days. So that is what we're bringing to the market. We think it's very disruptive. It's a very dynamic system. And we really look forward to honestly working with a lot of customers and partners to create this fully AI machine learning world. Well, we will definitely keep our eye on the progress of private 5G. Howard, thank you so much for your insights. Thank you.